Well, what's the fantasy for most guys that love guns? Well, mine's is to have my gun room. I've been wanting my gun room for the longest time now. They'll be moving from my, my wife. She's um, relocating her job. Her job is um, offering her a position somewhere else. So they're shutting down. They're shutting down her, um, her building at this part of Mar uh, Virginia. So she's they yeah, offered her a spot in Maryland and Silver Spring. It's not that far. It's uh, it's right next to D.C. Gave her four thousand dollar bonus just to go there, which is nice. Nice little piece of change. That's I guess nice little piece of fiat. Um. So, we, we, she's, she's like, okay, let's find somewhere else a little closer. So we're moving back up to where we came, probably 16 miles from here. It's better on gas. We ain't got to deal with certain exits with a lot of traffic and everything. So, we went to look at an apartment. It's going to be our last apartment until we, until we jump into a house. And even after that, when, 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 we, when we know that we're ready for a house, we don't even know what we want to do yet with that because... I don't want to be in 30 years of slavery and servitude. Yeah, I'm. You know, we already took on debt before. We don't think we want to be in 30 years of debt, and then then when you pay it off, it still ain't your house. I, don't, I just don't think that's fair. You know, so I don't know. We'll probably end up renting a house or something, man. I don't think I really want to put myself in a mortgage and make banks happy. You know, and you know, they already killing us out here, man. So to, to make them even more happy. You know, they just greedy fucks, man. I just don't agree with it. So that might not even happen. I might just rent a house. You know, uh, we'll see how that goes, though. Another two years and three years. This country's still in one piece. Then we'll see. But uh, yeah, this 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 how this apartment has a three bedroom. It's really a nice apartment. Really nice, better than this dump behind me. Real nice, real nice. Um, has everything that I wanted. So, uh, it has three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms, it's pretty big, nice floor in the nice laundry room, nice, nice, the only thing, you just gotta bring your own washer and dryer, which is good, it's cool, I don't wanna use everybody else's that been having God knows what on their clothes, how many people done used up those washers and dryers, so that's fine. I already have a, a brand new wash and dry ready to go. We'll be in there around September time. Um, but it has a third room, and I told her that could be a guest room, but it's a, it's my gun room. That's my sanctuary. I need that, and I have it set up. I already know. I've been having it set up the way I wanted it, but it's getting it's gonna be a precursor to my main gun room, I guess. Because whenever I do get the house. That's when they'll be really on. But this this room here has a nice walk-in closet, the third room. So my gun safes will be in there, my ammunition, my magazines, everything gun-related. And um, preps, I'll keep those downstairs in, in the pantry. And some of my prep items, too, I'll keep in that closet. And the gun room, I, I have it all set up. I have a, Gonna put a couch. You walk in to the left. There's gonna be a couch right there. Maybe a pull-out bed. Somebody come to go to sleep. The closet is off limits to anybody. That's off limits. Only one of them signs. I put it on the closet door. Off limits. Personnel use only. <laughs> but um, gonna put a nice little TV in there and the table across from the couch. Um, my recliner is going in there with me. And on the on the far end of the room to the left, it'll be a, a a table there with my laptop. I'll get a I'm gonna get me a new, a new camera, HD camera, and that's where I'll be making my videos. My Gun Lovers TV. I want to kick it off as soon as I get that apartment. So look for the channel to ramp up speed with the Gun Lovers TV mouse and everything, the mouse pad. Look for that soon. But um yeah, this computer I, that I'm hitting, I have here, I might um retire this one, just use this for you know entertainment purposes, you know movies, watch things on it when I'm far, when I'm away. But I will be getting a new laptop and then a uh, desktop for the living room. You know, I got everything mapped out the way we wanted. But the gun room, that's my total. Don't fuck with me when I'm in there. 
Don't fuck with me. So leave me and my babies to be. Put some NRA posters on the wall. And it's not only a gun room. It's my getaway when I'm coming from work. I just want, don't want to be around the kids or nobody. I just want to be around my firearms. And I just want to kick back, get a beer, and put my feet up on the couch. And turn on some TV and, and relax. That's, that's it. And um, like I know it's also going to triple as a as a place where I'm going to run a business because I'm there's a few things I have in the in the works. Stock and guns 1104. Look out for my phone call. I'm gonna be going to Boston in August to talk some business moves with my brother Duan 1104 man because it's about that time. You know, a uh, couple of things that we got on the table, some passions. Because I was always told by my dad, man, you know. People will be much happier in life if they if they work with the kind of work they do is their passion. You always succeed. But when you're just doing work just to work, then you're not happy. I'm happy at my job, though. I mean, it's cool. It's, it's, it's kind of related to my passion, some of my passions. But, I mean, my full-blown passion, I can do that shit, like, 24 hours a day nonstop. Like, when it comes to these guns, like, I can really put my foot in it. Like, some of my pictures, man, I was even thinking about uh, some of those pictures I took of my Sigma. Somebody had sent me an inbox, and they was like, man, why you don't ask Smith & Wesson? Could could you could they sell you? Could you buy one of their, could they buy your picture from you? Because they said it looks like a real professionally took picture. You know the picture I put up with the Sigma, with the light on the bottom, with the ammo spread around it? I was like, I ain't, Smith & Wesson don't buy photos from people, you know. But I think the photo would have looked kind of ill, though, if they would have, they could use that to amp up, amp up sales for the Sigma, for for the people that's low on the budget. I think they would have made this. That would that picture would have made the Sigma look really crazy. Cause I, I that Sigma looked like a night like a super Sigma with that NC with the rail on it and the NC Starlight. It was nice. I missed that gun. Look for it again pretty soon. But um yeah, I just want to you know um. I don't really care about being partnered on YouTube. I just want my Gun Lovers TV channel to be have some real good subs like the big channels. I don't really care about the money, but it's always nice to get the money. But my goal is just to spread info to help people. You know, if you're just new to certain things, just like I am, I'm still learning stuff. I watch other gun channels to learn new things. So I'm trying to regurgitate some of the same stuff that I learned from them to other people that's just coming into the game of guns, you know? So. Um, that's what my gun room would be. A gun room slash guest room last, though. And a sanctuary first, gun room second. No, gun room first and a getaway room second and a guest room third. As long as the guests don't touch my shit. That's, what's in the closet? Yo, you got something to hang up? Here you go. See, you got the portable rolling closet right there. Hang your jackets up right there. That's not your closet. It's for me. You know, so a lot of people don't get, man, you know, why we like firearms. The firearms are like our children, man. It's like an extension of my kids. You know, um, seriously, like I got seven kids right now. I got seven other kids, and I got three real kids. So, like, I got ten children. It's like you gotta babysit your guns. You gotta, you gotta watch over them, and make sure that they taken care of. You gotta make sure that they healthy. Got to make sure. You know, you gotta keep them clean. You gotta bathe them from time to time. Hey, safety sallies. Yeah, the chamber's empty. In case you didn't know it. Even if it wasn't, fuck you. But, uh, this is one of my special babies here. $100, man. I can't believe I caught this deal on this gun. This is awesome. 357. Nothing but power. Uh, that's it, man. That's my fantasy. My gun room. And it is about to come true. With the grace of God. As he knows how I feel about these things here. Not only are these tools. These are beautiful pieces of machinery. Everything about them. Is just wonderful. And, and I can't understand why people are trying to take these away from, from us man. I mean. I can't live without these things. I, I love them. They're just so beautiful. Even the ugliest guns to others are beautiful to me. You know. I, I can take a firearm that others won't find beautiful and I can just look at it and pull the beauty out of it, man. Like out of a 
high point. I can pull a beauty out of a high point, out of a Glock. I can pull a beauty out of it. That's just a gift that I have. Um, so, um, this is G-Nut. Get back to me. Let me know what's your fantasy, man.